Your mum and dad's struggles are different to your struggles. Well, that's a lie. That's another coping mechanism. That's another excuse that parents will use. See, my mum and my dad were both born in the UK like me. So we're Jamaican, but we were both born over here in London. They could have went uni, they could have went college. But they became educated, just like me. And some smart ass will come underneath the comment section of this video, if I didn't say this now. Well, what about parents that have come from Jamaica? Or what about parents that have come from Africa or India or eastern parts of Europe? Listen, even if they came over here from another country, as long as they was relatively young, you know, 30, 35 and that, blood. I mean, you could still go when you're 50. What I'm saying is, when they're young, they got energy in that. 30, 35 years old, they could have still took a night class. They could have still got educated. They could still find some Saturday, some weekend school to learn something in college, to learn something in university. So I don't want to hear about, oh, well, you know, my parents and that, they grew up in the 70s and they were this skin colour and that, so that's why they weren't successful. Blah, that's bullshit. There's plenty of parents or people them my mum's age, 52 and onwards and that, that are successful. There's plenty of people them that come from another country, wherever it was, Asia, Africa, Eastern parts of Europe, all back a yard and that, that are successful and that. It's just an excuse, it's just a coping mechanism. People are lazy, people are not driven. And obviously they can pull the race card and that. So, well, explain, someone explain to me why there are people who are 55, 60, who fit the categories that I've just mentioned, being from different countries or being from here that are successful. Why are they so much more special than the people them who aren't successful? So, it's just an excuse, man. It's just a coping mechanism. And you know what? There will be some some use or that there'll be some some use right now yeah obviously let's like, say young people 20 years old and that that when they're 35 and they have kids and that they will say to their kids oh well you know my struggles were different to your struggles like, what are you talking about what are you talking about especially like we got it a little bit easier than the previous generation i give you that not because of what's happening in the system not because of any systemic racism i'm saying that my generation yeah, people from between the age of 20 to 30 and that we got it the best just because there's opportunities in social media. We got the internet. So I'm not saying that their generation had it harder. I'm saying that we've got it easier because there's more opportunities. I'm not saying it's hard, it was harder for them. I'm just saying that us lot, like we got more opportunities because we got the internet. Any jackass can turn on their phone and start making stupid ass TikTok videos and get paid for it. My girl, who's a mortgage broker, do you know what inspired me to jump on TikTok? So see, I've been on YouTube for like five years. It'll be six in November. One of her clients uh, bought a property, not because she's a lawyer, not because she's a cleaner, not because she's a banker, not because she's a stockbroker or a doctor. No, she bought a property because she was making TikTok videos. The girl was on like 50... Yeah, 50 grand a year, making TikTok videos. Imagine, imagine that. Imagine being able to, imagine sitting down, yeah, that must be a nice trip. You're like, yo, because of TikTok, that's how I'm able to buy this three or two bed or three or two bed house or two bed flat. So any idiot can jump on TikTok. Anyone can make an account and start making money. Especially with TikTok as well, it's so easy. Big up man like AMS. He said the reason why... Um, so much people are able to blow up on, on TikTok as opposed to YouTube because you don't have to sit down. The difference between YouTube content creators and TikTok content creators is this. When you're a YouTube content creator, you need to be able to sit down for 10 to 30 minutes and make a decent video. Yeah? You need to be able to talk and tell a story and keep your audience interested in that. With TikTok... You can make 10 second stupid little videos, one minute stupid little videos and blow up. How many times you see these chicks making these videos? If he don't take you out on a date, drop him out. If he ain't trying to buy you a Gucci purse on the first date, drop him out. If he ain't trying to buy you a Mercedes, all, all this nonsense. A girl can make a stupid video that's really and truly only 30 seconds long, but she's cut out so much, it's only 19 seconds long and get 100,000 views. 
So this is how people are making money nowadays, just making stupid ass videos and that. I guarantee you, I promise you, you see all these TikTok people who have got these big accounts and that. Yeah, 100,000 followers, a million followers and that. I guarantee you, if TikTok weren't about and they had to make long format content, well, they wouldn't exist. Man them laugh and make jokes and say, yo, you're making 10 minute videos. This is TikTok blood. Do you know why I'm able to make these 10 minute videos? And you're lucky it's only 10 minute videos. Trust me, go on my YouTube channels. You will find videos there 25 to 30 minutes long. Me just talking. No breaks, no cutting up, no going for a little piss break, none of that. Just straight 20 to 30 minute straight video. No, yeah, no breaks, just talking and that. Man, I'm making jokes. Oh, yo, man. How are you uh, making these 10 minute videos and that? Blood, I'm a long format content creator. So this is why I'm able to have so much content to create, like to cut up and that, because I make long content, long content videos and I'm able to break them up into pieces and that. Um, I mean, uh, again, uh, the reason why a lot of these people would never be able to do well on YouTube, I'm not saying I've done well on YouTube, but would they even be able to make long format content? Because they actually have no value. No disrespect to most people walking planet Earth. Most people walking planet Earth have no value whatsoever. They have no value. They literally have no value. They have nothing to offer the world. That doesn't make them a bad person, but they just have no value, innit? So, um, yeah, back to the original point. How the fuck did I get onto that? How? How? How did I get onto that? But people will say, oh, and parents say, oh, my struggles are different to your struggles. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. You're just making excuses. So what about the people then who are the same age as you that succeeded and became successful? Come on, man. 